What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is my speculation video on the blasters I saw at the 2020 Toy Fair that had to do with Fortnite. This video is including speculation on three different products, the grenade launcher, the sniper rifle, and the new pistol. First up, the grenade launcher. They're calling it the GL because I don't think Nerf can call anything grenade launcher. They, they might be a little too aggressive for them. This product is pretty cool. Now, if you've used the Thunder Blast, it's like a mechanically operated pressure blaster where you just squeeze it together real fast and you're generating the power. There's no potential energy. It's all just like direct. So you don't store it like with an air pump or a spring or flywheels or anything like that. You're manually just jerking out the... <laughs> You're manually just pumping out... That's not even better. <laughs> You're manually just... F. Verb. Line. <laughs> you are manually projecting the missile out of the launcher. It's not really a grenade because it doesn't explode on impact. It's a missile or a rocket. The grenade launcher will be released August 1st, 2020 in a retail for $59.99 or about 60 US dollars which is a ton of money for a mechanically operated missile launcher. It's pretty cool, but damn, what royalty is Fortnite making on this product? They got a good deal with Hasbro. Look at the Halo Blaster. It's a full rifle for 50 bucks. This thing doesn't even need batteries. There's no spring. These internals are super basic and they're selling it for $60. Freaking Fortnite. Gosh, I know you guys like it, but I have no respect for this game. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to the blaster. So it looks true to a grenade launcher. It looks really cool. I will give you that. Uh, they painted it nice in yellow and orange so it doesn't get mistaken for a real grenade launcher. I know some kids are going to complain about that, but let's get real. You can't walk around with a look like firearm. You're going to get shot, bro. So that's great. This is yellow and orange. It holds six missiles ready to go, which is definitely the highest capacity missile launcher that Nerf has made. The Thunder Blast is a single shot blaster as a comparison. The cylinder rotates when you pump it out and then you pump in in order to launch the blaster. Um, I didn't get to test this a whole lot, but it seemed to worked okay. This type of blaster, when I'm in front of the Hasbro chaperone, like who, who won't let me be alone with the blaster, it's kind of, I don't want to break it, I don't want to break it. So I'll definitely test it the right way through my testing procedure when I get a production model uh, in the future. But so far, so good. I think the Fortnite fans are going to love this blaster and it's cool enough and different enough that legitimate nerfers who don't care at all about Fortnite, like me, will have a reason to use this product. If you really like missiles, this is the best missile launcher on the market. Well, it's not on the market yet, but it will be when it launches. The Thunder Blast is cool because missiles usually have a higher value. So if you have a target you have to destroy, it counts as hitting it with like 10 micro darts, which, you know, there should be a good reason to launch missiles. But to be able to rapidly launch off six missiles, that's pretty cool. I cannot speak for the reliability or the consistency of the product or even the performance. I will chrono it. I will test it when I get a review model in the future. So this is all totally just weak speculation based on photos, essentially. But that is the grenade launcher retailing for 60 US dollars that's coming out 8 1 2020. The next Fortnite blaster I'm speculating on is the BASR-L, which probably stands for Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. But that's just a weird one to say. What blaster are you using? I'm using a Basser or a BASR. Like, that's just a hard one to say. So there's got to be a better nickname for that. Good thing nobody's actually going to use this blaster except for Fortnite fans who aren't actually playing in Nerf Wars because it's super impractical. It looks really cool, but it's not going to be a battle-effective blaster. Nothing with a two-foot barrel is ever going to be useful in our hobby. The BASRL retails for $39.99 and will be released 6-1-2020. Now, I want to make a comment on the staggered release date. So the grenade launcher is coming out in August. This sniper rifle, <laughs> sniper rifle, is coming out in June. And this next pistol that I'm talking about, they just said fall 2020. This staggered release date is by no means an accident. It's deliberate and it's a marketing strategy. I just want to illuminate you so you don't let them control you. Get out your tinfoil hats, boys. We're getting real. <laughs> they know people review these products, so if they release them all on the same day, they'll have a week of a really crazy Fortnite frenzy. What's more valuable, like marketing strategy, wise is to have people hit you up with a Fortnite ad on in June, which I will do essentially. I don't view it as an advertisement, but when I'm reviewing a product, I'm getting Fortnite into your head accidentally. Then two months pass, and then I hit you up again in August, and then this other blaster might come out after that, then I'll hit you up again with another Fortnite ad. They want to be in your head all year. I'm trying to illuminate the issue so you can manually override their attempt to control your mind. Don't play Fortnite if you don't want to. That marketing strategy is just effed up and I don't like it. Okay, tinfoil hat, period, over. Let's get back to the blaster. So this is a sniper rifle product. It does not have a removable barrel or an in-strike barrel lug on the end. It uses a cool new looking magazine, but I believe it's compatible with in-strike magazines. It's spring powered with a side bolt. I didn't get to play with this product a whole lot, but it did feel light. And other Fortnite blasters in the past have felt deceivingly lightweight. And I think that's because they're targeting a younger market. And it's more toyish and fun when it's super light and it feels featherweight and you can flip it around real fast. But that theme was continued with this product. So it's very lightweight, even if you're small because it looks, you know, large. It's deceivingly light. It has an in-strike tactical rail up on the top with a scope that looks very similar to the existing scope uh, with a new paint job, of course. The magazine release was inside the trigger guard, which I noted because I don't like that, but it works. And honestly, I think it, they did it for the looks because it looks snazzy. That's a nice looking sniper rifle. I don't even like Fortnite, but that's a cool looking blaster. Just like the grenade launcher, I think it was very wise to paint it yellow and orange, super bright, obnoxious colors for safety. Because if you walk outside with that painted black, 
you will get shot. Super serial. Don't paint your, your blasters dark, please. But not much else to cover with this product. I'm glad they put a scope rail on and it's not like a permanently mounted scope that in case you're not a Fortnite guy and you want a different optic, you can do that. But nothing else to manipulate on the product, no adjustable stock, adjustable barrel, any of that. That I noted, of course, this is all speculation. Perhaps I missed something. I'll definitely cover it in my review later in the year as I hit you up with ad after ad after ad, as I already mentioned for Fortnite. <laughs> so that's the Basserel. <laughs> We need a new nickname for that. The Bolt Action Sniper Rifle, that just sounds so hardcore, for 40 US dollars coming out June 1, 2020. Not performance oriented, but it, it'll be pretty cool to, to derp around with that for sure. Now to the last Fortnite product that is new for this year. This is the SR Blaster. This is a small pistol. This will retail for 20 US dollars, which is outrageous for a pistol, BT dubs, and will be released in fall 2020. No doubt staggered with the other two products to, you know, stagger the advertising. Okay, I'll, I'll stop with that. But this product is actually pretty cool. This is a smart AR system that has four barrels that are uh, static barrels up front. So you front load. It's a very thin blaster, which is cool. To have a four round capacity, it reminds me of the zombie strike quadrat which has four barrels on top of each other very space efficient you can definitely fit this guy in a holster with the weird taper barrel it might be a weird draw but it'll work and having hammer action allows you to dual wield which is cool the quadrat has a two-handed operation uh, system i suspect like with other hammer action blasters this power might not be you know exceeding 70 fps i would call it if i had to judge 65 fps maybe 60 just in line with other hammer action blasters with the inefficiency of a um, the smart ar i wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't hit 70. now i'm speculating way too nerdy but the product is definitely pretty cool it felt nice in the Hand. It has a tack rail up top with this uh, new scope that looked pretty okay. Uh, I think it's a Fortnite thing because I don't I don't know what it is. But this, just like the grenade launcher, I think is a pretty cool Fortnite blaster for the Fortnite fans, but actual nerfers will still get use out of this. It's a cool blaster that's thin and narrow, lightweight, easy to holster. I think this will be a great sidearm for certain people. That smart AR system cuts down on a lot of mass, like with the strong arm or the disruptor. You have this heavier cylinder with all the mechanics to make that work. It adds a lot of weight, and if you're putting it on a holster, a drop leg holster, for example, you don't want a lot of weight flopping around there. Especially if you're like me, you don't use your pistol all that much. You want a really lightweight product. That's why I, I praise the Quadrot so well. This is gonna be another similar product to that. So far, once again, totally speculation. I don't know, I haven't tested it yet. But this is a good example to please the, the fans if you wanna make like a prop series, uh, like a Fortnite blaster. Thank you, Nerf, for making a, a functional blaster. You had to make the sniper rifle to please them, but no Nerfers will actually use that one. The grenade launcher and this SR pistol, definitely pretty cool. I'm excited for them. The SR will come out in fall 2020, and again, about 20 US dollars, which is a lot for a pistol. You know Fortnite's probably making about $7 royalty per sale. Total estimation based on no data whatsoever. I will have dedicated review products on each one of these blasters when I get a production sample in my studio. Release dates, June, August, fall. <laughs> Staggered. Okay, so I don't know when I'll put up the reviews, but I will, eventually. That's the speculation video from my experience at the 2020 Toy Fair for the Fortnite Blasters. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.